Hello YouTubers, it's Gizzy Greenfingers. Four years ago, I wasn't into Weeping Willows. Until I saw this one. That's right. I was at a client's house and I saw this Weeping Willow and I thought, my gosh, I'd love to have you in a miniature form. And I thought, hmm, how can you do that in miniature form? And I come up with an idea. Why don't I get a cutting from a weeping willow and make my own? So I did that, and this is what happened. Three years later, after I took my cutting, well, three years in September, we're in June still, um, this is what we've got, and I would say this was probably the most wired bonsai in England, or oh, ain't far off, oh my gosh it's not far off, but yes this has been a, a passion of love for the last three years, as you can see I've put a lot of time and effort into this, and I've spent Tens and tens and tens of pounds on wire. <laughs> About 60 pounds worth altogether, if not 100. But look at that, that's a great angle. I'm sorry about the voice, but that is a great angle there. Now, I don't know if it's me, but I know, I just, I've fallen in love with this. Yes, I've fallen in love with it. And I can't be bothered to do any more YouTube videos about anything else except for this tree because it's it's taken a lot of my time a lot of my time and come come next year well it's going to take even more of my time because I'm going to have even more branches to contend with but as you can see we've got We've got the main shape going on. I'm trying to build a top. That's, that's one bit. I want a top to my tree. And I am, I'm purposely growing new shoots on some of the branches so I can get more of a top. So I hope you like the, the background music. It's got, it's got a nice ambience for the tree in question. And as you can see, every every branch has been wired to perfection to the shape and the angle that I wanted. As it turns, yes. And some people may say, "Well, you're crazy, bloody growing a bloody weeping willow tree." Do you not know how fast they grow? Do you not know about the branches that die off? Do you not know that roots grow so fast? <laughs> yeah, I know all that. But I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. <laughs> because I've got my vision, and I'm looking at it, my vision right now, and it looks even better than the vision that I envisioned, if that even makes sense. And as you can see, I've got wires, and I... It took me six hours, two evenings, three hours, three hours, so six hours, two times three is six, it took me six hours to wire this baby up, two evenings after work, I was bored, I was depressed, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get fucking wiring, because it's it just takes you out of that zone you can just zone out and it's great and and you've got such a beautiful tree to show for it hopefully hopefully but I am worried about winter because look at that that's my new top that's my new top that's my new top I am worried about winter because last winter I lost two big branches I had to cut them back because I was worried of die back and I didn't want to lose like the whole 
more of the branches, so I, I crap my pants basically. I crap my pants. And I'm starting to think, oh, did I need to crap my pants? I, maybe I did need to crap my pants, but I did. And I just hope that doesn't happen now because of all the time and effort I've put into every one of these branches, it, I'll cry. I will. I'll fucking cry. I will. Because I've put a lot, a lot of fucking hours into this. I hope it shows. So this is how you make a weeping willow weep with wires. It's not actually a weeping willow. This is a corkscrew willow, aka twisted willow. But I chose this variety because of the the contortedness, the twistedness. Yeah, I've had a few. I've had a few, but just. I'm just going to sit back and you can just look at this last bit. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Kissy green fingers. Ta-da for now.